one of the biggest confusions that comes up and actually causes a lot of tension in online forums is like, you should never diagnose someone you've never met. I'm not diagnosing anyone. There is a pattern called narcissistic personality disorder. That is a diagnosis that appears in in diagnostic manuals like the the DSM or something called the ICD-10. It's there with all the bells and whistles of a diagnosis, a list of symptoms. Here's the thing. When we diagnose this pattern, not only do you have to have many of these narcissistic patterns, but that person also has to be experiencing significant impairment in their life or distress about the symptoms. Like for example, a person who's depressed is like, I'm miserable. I'm sad. I can't get out of bed. I can't go to work. They have a subjective sense of discomfort. So they'll go get help in most cases. A person with narcissistic personality disorder, or I should say a person who's narcissistic often feels like my life's going just fine. I'm making lots of money. I do whatever I want, whenever I want. I don't, I'm not bothered by other people. I just do what I want. So we rarely see narcissistic personality disorder, but this pattern called narcissism. It's just that. It's a pattern. It's like a trait, you know, in some ways. It's almost like saying someone's stubborn or they're sweet or kind. Like we know what that means. And so when we look at this word narcissism and the the sort of the noun being a narcissist (laughs) is that it's like a bucket. And in that bucket are all these little words like the person who's narcissistic lacks empathy. They're deeply entitled. They think they're special and entitled to special treatment and shouldn't have to go through the hoop jumping that other people would have to go to. They're very grandiose. Um, They're very superficial and shallow. They care tremendously only about appearances and Instagrammable lifestyles and that kind of thing. They're, um, They're constantly seeking validation and admiration. They need other people to say, you're so wonderful, you're so great, like your picture. And that's why, for example, they'll do things like cheat on a partner because it's just one more way to get validation and have someone tell them how attractive they are or something. They're very arrogant. Um, They can tend to be very manipulative and exploitative of other people in relationships. They tend to be deceitful and they tend to lie. Um, They're prone to shame. Like when they do something bad, when they apologize, it's not because they feel bad about the impact it had on someone else that they feel ashamed that they got caught doing something that makes them look bad. You see the difference?